Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in. If you watch my past videos, you know that I've been testing out Timu products and today is another one of those videos. I thought I had purchased 5 press-on nails, but I actually bought 4 press-ons and 1 transfer foils. I'm a bit upset by that, so I'm going to show you the advertised picture on the website so I can explain that to you. So when I first saw this picture, I thought they were selling seashell press-ons. It's such a bummer. I should have read the title and looked at the price, 89 cents, but man, I wish they would have been press-on nails, but I can work with the transfer foils as well and create the same nail design. But yeah. Always make sure you read the title before you purchase the items or else you'll receive something that you weren't expecting. Now I'm going to show you the picture that's advertised on the website versus what I received. So for this one, it's a short translucent black with some heart gems, diamonds, and beads. I'm not going to lie, they look cheap and this is the photo on the website. It's not what I expected. On the picture, it looks much more prettier and shinier maybe when i have the press ons on my fingers it'll look a whole lot different and better than as to oppose when they're in the package but you know what the more that i look at them they do look like the press ons on the picture it's just it has a better lighting and the bit of camera touches on the picture but you know not bad for a dollar and 78 cents So for the next one, it's a brown and white stained design with black flowers. And my pet peeve about the Timu website is these pop-ups. It's probably because I don't have the app downloaded. But this is the advertised photo and it looks a lot similar. This is very pretty and it's $1.48 for 24 pieces. That's a steal, guys. All right, the next one. So we have a gold chrome French tips with hearts and bling. This is another one where I'm not completely satisfied with. Let me show you the photo. You see, it looks so different and the chrome is actually much more, well, <laughs> chrome. It has that reflector. And pay attention to the placement of the hearts on the picture versus the press-ons I got. I mean, it's no big deal. I mean, I'm not going to be upset over that. So when I have these nails on, or if I choose to use these nails in this video, or whenever I get to use them, I will probably add my own gold chrome powder that I have to make it even more reflective and mirror-like. But you know, for $1.99, it's a very good price. So the next one and final one, this is actually my favorite one. It's a green and white design with some, I want to say Chinese words. I'm not completely certain. If you know, please let me know down in the comment section below. And it has some bamboo, I think. I'm not certain. All right. Oh yeah, so I was correct. It is bamboo. It says so on the title. And if you ask me, it looks exactly like the photo. Yeah, so I really like these nails and it sucks that it doesn't tell you what the nails say. So now I have the difficult task of choosing which press-ons I want to use for the video. So definitely not the first one. This will probably be for another video or another time in my life. Maybe these. The gold chrome French tips. Maybe, I don't know. I'll set it aside for another time as well. And these two. Hmm. What if I combine both of them? They are so pretty. Alright guys, I'm going to be back once I've made up my mind. So I've made up my mind, but I won't tell you just yet. For now, I'm just going to prep my nails. Prepping is key for long-lasting and durable nails. So first off, I'm going to remove the white nail polish on my nails. I'm taking a lint-free wipe and dipping it into acetone. So the nail designs are created by a nail stamp. I was playing around and experimenting with a nail stamp. I really want to get back into using nail stamps. I was thinking of doing, you know, those henna designs for a video. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like that. Thank you. 
So I'm going to grab my cuticle pusher. So cuticles is dead skin and they are going to be on the nail bed. So I'm just going to carefully scrape that off. This next part is optional. Some people choose to remove it and others prefer not to. I believe it's called the hyponychium or not. It might be the hyponychium. I'm not completely certain. And that is often confused with the cuticle. So if you're undigestive and removing this part of the nail, I would do some extensive research. I know that it's supposed to protect yourself from allergens and irritants, but I'm just doing it because I like how my nails look at the end but it's up to you it's the risks that you guys want to take now that i'm done with that i'm taking a wipe and dipping it into acetone to rehydrate my nail i know some people use alcohol so now you can clip your nails, but I'm going to leave them as is. I'm trying to grow them out. And now this is the part where you want to use a buffer to remove the oils. So having good nail prep is the key to having long lasting nails. So I'm actually going to be skipping the buffer part because I'm going to continue with using a peelable base coat. And the reason why I'm using peelable base coat is because honestly, I don't wear my nails that long. Since I do do nail videos, I'm constantly changing my nails. This is just something that's easier and healthier for my nails. And another thing, the reason why I also use peelable base coat is because I can also reuse the press on nails. So now that the base coat has fully dried, I'm now opening the package. So adhesive tabs are included, but I am not a fan of them because once I have the nails on, they move around when I'm doing things and it's really uncomfortable. It also comes with a small file. Now I'm gonna pick my nail sizes And now that I've picked my nail sizes, I'm going to use the KISS Max Speed Nail Glue. And the nails fit perfectly. I was a bit worried considering the price that they were going to be very oddly shaped, but they are so much better than Dollar Tree nails. I dare say they remind me of KISS press-on nails. Oh, and I just can't get over the nails. They are so pretty. So, so far, my impressions of the nails are looking pretty positive. And also, to make your press-on nails last long, you also need to add a good amount of glue and press down onto the nail, making sure that there are no air bubbles. And now I'm gonna use the file. I'm removing the tips all press-on nails have. Not too much, oh no. This nail is damaged right here. Can you guys see it? Right there. I didn't do that. It was already like that. I barely filed it. I don't want to file it too much that it will damage the nails. And now I'm adding cuticle oil. And now for the grand reveal. Guys, I am obsessed with them. I just love the colors and the nail art. For a dollar and 34 cents, guys, I'd really recommend trying these press on nails.
well that's it for the video you guys thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in into this very video i appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed speaking of subscribing don't forget to like comment and subscribe we're almost to 1000 subscribers i would really appreciate that and stay tuned for my next video bye guys